So when we research in the scriptures, all the individuals who did not follow the directions of God from the prophets, and you remember we could use prophet Nathan and a, a, as an example after the sin of King David lying with Beersheba's wife committing adultery and oh David responded David did, did respond like many of us ministers today clergymen we would be like I said we are God nobody can talk to us and if you are not under our auspices, if you are not under our organization, or if we don't know you as being reputable, we're not, we're not going to receive the word. Listen, God will raise up anybody. And that is the thing that people need to understand. God is shutting down men. He's taking down men. Listen, all of these clergymen you see, both here and abroad, these giants, the Lord told me he's taking them down. There's some who want to take me down. There's some who want to undermine me. Some who want to discriminate me and disgrace me. But I spoke to the Lord. The Lord said, Peter, I'm not finished with you as yet. So that is final. Many of you, some of you gave prophecies. And you prophesy that God is going to take me down. Let me ask the question, how can God take down someone, hallelujah, someone who is doing the will of God, someone who is rightly dividing the word of truth, someone who is speaking, thus say the Lord. So not because I came out and gave a prophecy pertaining to your loved bishop, your loved prophet, your loved apostle, prophetess. That is why you're hissing and barking and you're sending religious evil words at the man of God. So, most of you, what you need to do, you need to do your research. You need to go and do your research. All the men of God who have fell and maybe the fear of God will come into your heart. All of the men and women of God who fell out of God's grace. It is not an easy thing. Because when God's grace leaves you, dog, eat your supper. Never try to be rejected by God. When men reject you, you can bounce back. But when God rejects you, dog, eat your supper. Hallelujah. Over and over, I looked at these men and women of God, and I think that they forgot where God has brought them from. They have forgotten, they have built up their own kingdom, their own palace, and implement their own laws, and that nobody can come in and listen. God destroys who he desires to destroy, and nobody can stop God. God kill who he want to kill. So when some of you get frightened and open up your mouth wide saying that that is not the God that you know. Listen, the God that you and I serve, he will shut you down. He's no respecter of persons. Hallelujah. There's a scripture that I'm looking for that I read in Revelation chapter 2, verses 10, for, for fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil will cast some of you into prison, that he may be tried. That he may be tried. Many of you were saying that is because of my sin while I was thrown in sea talk. Hear the scripture, hear what the scripture says. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that he may be tried, and he shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. Hallelujah. That is the word of the Lord. Glory be to God.
Revelation chapter 3 verses 12 says, In that overcome it, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write unto him the name of our God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of the heavens from my God, and I will write upon him my new name, my new name, and he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let me see if I find the other scriptures. So, I want to encourage the people of God to be humble. The Bible said that he that humbleth himself shall be exalted, and he that exalted himself shall be abased. There are many of us who does not carry the spirit of humility. And nobody can say anything to you. Nobody can correct you. And at the same time, some of you saying that Peter Chambers does not take correction and at the same time you if the truth ever fears you face you in your face or face you in your face you become rebellious you oppose your hiss and your bark but a broken and a contrite heart he will not despise hallelujah glory be to god when you are a true child of God, it doesn't matter how high you go or how low you go, you humble yourself. And you risk. I often say to my members, if anybody come to you with a word, sit and listen. Don't be rebellious. Sit and listen. And you can discern whether it is coming from God or it is not coming from God. You don't have to build up a wall of defense. Because the Bible will send angels unaware God will use, he will use any man, any woman to carry out his purpose, to establish his purpose. So most of these men, why do you think they are going down? Why do you think that God is exposing them? Why do you think God is tearing off the clothes and exposing them publicly? On a constant basis, God has sent his servants, his word to them. And they refuse to take the word of the Lord because they have become proud, lofty, high. Nobody can talk to them. So if the followers of Bishop Delford Davis are opposing and believing that if a word that is given, it must be done in secret. Listen, not, I do have a problem with giving a word to the Bishop Delford Davis in secret. But when I came to him and approached him, he rejected the word. So God, what God has done, he has opened the platform of social media that you can get out. You think, say, God, let me tell you something. When you think God easy, wise, and smart, God is using any entity to get a word to any man. So unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. God has placed you in the position to speak to this man. To tell the man where he has gone wrong. What he has done to the church. What he has done. Listen, he coming up on public TV. Reading repentance off a, off a piece of paper. That is not repentance. Repentance comes from the heart. So the question must be asked, who is it that has spoken to the leader of Jamaica and to I help to identify the wrong that he has done to the church? God says, I'm going to hold it against you. The harm that you have done to the church and you lock down the church. 
in 2021. You locked down the church, yet you vaccinated many in the very church where you locked down under the facade of the pandemic. You were saying that the pandemic is dangerous. The corona is dangerous and you didn't even want us to worship our master and king. And you did everything in your power to shut us down. Yet, you vaccinated thousands in the very church. Pastors were paid money. Many of them took the blood money. Many of them were paid. And that is why the agenda was pushed into the church. God says, I'm going to hold this against you. And jewelness. The Lord says, I'm going to hold it against you. And none of these ministers who are your friends, whom God has placed in your territory and your region, have, have sat you down and warned you of the judgment to come and warned you of the evil that you have brought to the people. 